Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll be seeing one more problem related to timers. So let us see what is the problem. Okay. So here we are having a uh, blinking indicator lights are used uh, quite extensively in industries. Design a circuit in which a light is flashed after every two seconds. Okay. So we need to make a light to blink after every two seconds, right? So it will be on for two seconds and then for no next two seconds it will be in the off state and again it will be in the high state so this process will continue so let us see how to prepare this logic in our software okay so let us uh, create some tags first okay so here we'll be requiring one start input okay and then we'll be requiring our led that is the light which will be flashing okay so basically the output address here will be putting and now next we require a memory bit actually so i am writing it as memo okay and it will be m0.0 okay in this way we are having this memory okay so uh, we'll see how this memory bit is used in the logic okay so let us see how to create this logic now okay so here we'll be having one no and now we need basically what is required is our output should be high for two seconds well when you press this start button okay so i'll be pressing this and the output should be high for two seconds so basically for uh, two seconds means what it should be high for two seconds means what we'll be requiring a pulse timer okay so it, its output is high for two seconds and automatically it will turn off okay so here we'll be requiring one tp okay and then the output basically here will be requiring two seconds okay now the output will be high for two seconds and then it will turn off so this is the output okay so q0.0 okay so this is done now what is required is our next two seconds should be the in the low state okay so let us count how to count the next two seconds when this will be in the low state then we need an another timer which will be running for two seconds so how to do that basically what is required is we need to provide a delay of two seconds okay so what we'll do is i'll just create one more branch here okay so basically a delay is required for two seconds means what we require t on time okay so let us see let us take it here okay uh, and we need basically what is required is this t on timer will be on for two seconds basically it will run for two seconds okay and then it will make its output high okay so this output basically let us take it as memory bit so here we will be using this memory bit now this output will be high after two seconds but what is required is when this output go into low state after uh, running for or we can say after being on on for two seconds then after this we need this output to be in the high state or this timer to be in the high state so what we'll do is i'll provide one nc here okay so what will happen until and unless this output is in high state this timer will not turn on when this will go in low state so the power will come from here to here and this will be again in the nc state and the output in the timer will be on so basically how much time is there two seconds okay so basically it will be two seconds right so here it will be on for two seconds now what will happen after two seconds this memory bit will be in the high state okay so now we need to reset both the timers okay so basically reset means what we need the timers time again to be in on the zero state so basically what we'll do is we need both these timers to be in the low state again okay so 
what we'll do is as soon as this is high we'll be putting one nc here and i'll be providing the address of that memory bit okay so let us see i'll provide the address of this memory bit. okay so in this way what will happen when you are starting this one okay when you are starting this one the led will be in the high state okay for two seconds and then after two seconds this will be high so basically what will happen uh, until and unless this is high this will be in the low state that means we will be requiring one same address here okay so when this is low in low state so it will be again in the nc state and this will be on for two seconds then after two seconds this led will be or this memory bit will be in the high state and it will open from here again it is open and this uh, again the timer's time will be on the zero state again so in this way it will start blinking after and after okay so it will start blinking okay so let us observe this in let me download this one first okay now uh, we'll be taking all the tags here so basically what are the tags we require basically we need only two tags so one is the start tag and another is our output okay so led okay so only two tags are required so we'll be taking only two tags here now let us monitor this one we need to turn on the start button right so here i'll just turn it on okay so here if you observe this output okay so basically it is turning on for two seconds and then it is turning off for two seconds and then again it is turning on for two seconds and then it is again turning off for two seconds so in this way we have made a blinker so here also you can observe the output see it is turning on for two seconds and then again turning off for two seconds in this way the process continues okay so remaining things we'll be seeing in the next lecture